microphone here on our observation balcony. What's the countdown? Jay, we're getting close now. We're about uh, two minutes, uh, 20 seconds away. Uh, we can still see, as uh, certainly you can from your position, even better, uh, we can still see both launch complexes that uh, that uh, vaporized oxygen still trailing from the Atlas Agena. Let's go to Jack Keen. This is Gemini Launch Control. We're now T-minus two minutes and counting on the Atlas Agena launch. And at Launch Complex 19, they are just closing the hatches on the Gemini 8 spa spacecraft with astronauts Neil Armstrong and David Scott aboard. We have now closed the liquid oxygen vents on the Atlas launch vehicle as we reach down into the final phases of the count. Coming up at the 140 mark will be the launch vehicle going on the internal power of its own batteries. Of course, it's been on external power controlled by the blockhouse power up to this time. Now one minute and 26 seconds and counting. All systems still looking good. A final status check going on at Launch Complex 14 at the present time. All appears still to be go. T minus one minute and 15 seconds. Launch Complex 19, the crewmen are still working to secure the hatches on the Gemini 8 spacecraft. Now one minute and five seconds and counting. T minus 60 seconds and counting on the Atlas Agena at Launch Complex 14. Our final check still looking good at this point. We have now armed the rain safety destruct system in the Atlas vehicle. To repeat, when we get down to the final seconds of the count, we will have a momentary hold at about the T-minus 18 second mark as we go on an automatic sequence from that time. Now one minute and 35 seconds and counting. We'll get the ignition of the Atlas vehicle at about four seconds and Expected liftoff at zero or the 95 minute mark in the simultaneous count. Now T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 18 holding momentarily, now resuming the count. T minus 15, T minus 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. There's ignition, and the Atlas rocket showers its pad with a bright burst of flames. It's airborne now, and it's rising into the sky, a beautiful liftoff. It's a smooth flight. Everything is going uh, as it should be. You can now hear the thunder as it sweeps across our NBC observation point. Typical rattlesnakes and alligators out there are pretty good shaking, I would say. It's a smooth flight. She looks good. at this moment in its flight path. It is beginning to point the Agena target rocket toward the rendezvous orbit. Its flight is smooth. It's continuing to climb into this clear Florida sky. It's a deep blue sky today. There's only a very few clouds to block our view. Just a tiny pin light of a fire now as the Atlas continues its flight into orbit. It was a smooth liftoff. And at this time, the rocket is beginning to create its own clouds as it enters cold air high above uh, the Atlantic Ocean. Its thrust is uh, being turned to the small ice particles, actually, as it cools itself at this altitude. This is known as condensation. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen these condensation trails before by high-flying jet aircraft. Everything is going according to plan. The Atlas Agena is well out over the Atlantic Ocean at this moment, with all going smoothly during the first half of this flight. The Agena target is on course, on a course of 83 degrees, almost due east, and the Atlas booster engines uh, have just about burned out all of their fuel at this time. In just a moment, the two booster engines on top of the Atlas will actually burn out and drop away, and the third stage will keep firing and moving along. 
Mark Biko, Mark, Mark, Mark Biko. Biko, Biko the did occur Andrews. on the program time of two minutes, 11 seconds. Boss, you're listening to it. Seattle is now about 50 miles away from the Cape, altitude about 40 miles. You're listening to the voice of Paul Haney from Mission Control in Houston, describing the flight. Our next major event comes at 4 minutes and 37 seconds into the flight when a sequence timer is to be tripped. We have lost our view of the Atlas Agena rocket from this vantage point. Now back down to Rest Ward. We're 100 miles downrange. Right, Jay. And almost 100 miles downrange now. That's a late report. And the three-minute mark into the flight. Three-minute mark into the flight. So we're moving along smoothly now. That was uh, the first of two launchings today. The Atlas Agena now moving along, and we... Uh, recall that morning of October 25th when we thought we had a perfect liftoff. Everything looked good, only to be disappointed Three about minutes, five minutes into seconds, the flight. So we'll hold our breath on this one. We'll see what happens. Good. Let's Earlier, go to Paul Haney. The first minute or two, it was somewhat low, a percentage point or two, but now it's uh, following the program value very carefully. We're 175 miles downrange, 80 miles high. And both the Gina and Flight Dynamics advise the flight director that they are go. So it's looking good right now. We can still see on our TV monitor the camera picture. The cameras uh, at the tracking stations just south of here still following that tiny speck of light. Four minutes into the flight. Four minutes. Four minutes into and the flight. And a very smooth ride to this point. Hey, can we hold it? On the last trip, we had a backfire that um, blew the Agena up in space. So we'll hold our breath here for the next couple of minutes to see uh, that we do achieve the desired Four orbit on this one. 23 seconds into the flight. We're 275 miles downrange. Our altitude, 100 miles. We, um, and perhaps you did too, heard a couple of bursts a short time. Uh, Mark Fico, the Agena advises. That would be at 4 minutes 39, 4 minutes 40 seconds. Seco sustainer sus has shut down. Sustainer engine cut off. We're waiting word on whether the Agena achieved orbit. If it did not achieve orbit, that means the Gemini will not go this morning, so we're waiting. And the Athena controller now advises we have Vico, or the Vernier engines, the steering engines also have shut down. As yet, he has not confirmed separation. This is a critical point here, uh, Russ. Coming up in just about 35 seconds will be ignition of the Athena. Now, Athena controller confirms we do have separation. That confirmation came at five minutes and 35 seconds into the flight it was this point right the here ignition. last right. coming up in about 20 seconds at 553 five minutes 53 seconds we should have sbs 16 pound thrusters lighting off and about 20 seconds later the primary propulsion system coming up on six minutes six minutes into the flight and we do have sbs start This is the critical point. It has started. Six minutes, ten seconds. This means the Agena rocket is burning now and is pushing its own self into orbit. And we have primary propulsion system has ignited. It is operating. Well, here we go. We pass now the critical point that destroyed the mission. Uh, and and Agena says it looks good. We have about three minutes of flight here. That, it was uh, at the, that point when the primary propulsion system cuts in on the Agena that we lost the, the bird on October 25th. 